So today I'm going to be making our grits with a pressure cooker. Now the one that I have is also a slow cooker, a rice cooker, you can make yogurt in it. There's all kinds of things you can do this. You can even do a risotto in this thing. I absolutely love it. I've got three of them and you can get them by many different brand names. Some of them call them Instapots, but I actually have the Fagor had for several years. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Of course, I've got this set to the simmer setting so that I can get the butter going. This is room temperature butter, which is what you're going to want to use. If you start with cold, you're going to get it brown before you have the grits in. So we're going to take the butter and drop it in. Now the butter's melted, I'm gonna put it on brown, start, and drop in the grits so that we can stir them in and they can cook in that butter. Now that we have the grits completely coated in butter, you can kind of smell, so it's got this little nuttiness, but it's right before it starts turning brown, we're gonna put the rest of our ingredients in. So what we're gonna have here is half and half, two cups. What? I didn't say it was low fat. Two cups of water and our cheese. Take it off of the brown setting by hitting stop. Stir everything together. Now put the lid on and make sure it's securely fastened. Turn it on to pressure. Go to the pressure cooker setting. Make sure that it's on high. Set it for 10 minutes and start. We only have a few minutes left on our grits, so we're gonna go ahead and get our shrimp started just with a little bit of seasoning. You can use salt and pepper like I am, or if you choose, you can use one of your favorite seasoning blends. I have my cooktop set on really high because these are shrimp. It's not gonna take very long to cook. Be sure to use an oil that can handle the heat. All right, so our pressure cooker just went off and now it's set on warm. We're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. Our shrimp are almost done and we just released the pressure. This will not open until all the pressure is released, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and check out our grits. Shrimp are done. So there you have it, shrimp and grits with cheesy grits. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and look, I just put a little extra Cajun seasoning on mine. You can put some hot sauce if you want. It's gonna be really, really delicious. Thank you so much. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our videos. I'm gonna eat now.